Hello everyone. Now this is a common problem that some of you might be encountering wherein you are writing and compiling your C programs using an IDE for example Dave C++ and once you compile a program so let's suppose you have written a simple program wherein there is an integer variable number you assign it a value 5 and now you want to print that value. So you save this program with the name sample.c and then you compile it so there are no errors and once you try to run you get an error which says fail to execute and then the name of your file and it says why it failed because the operation did not complete successfully because the file contains a virus or potentially unwanted software. So this error is coming due to your antivirus and in most cases I have seen that the antivirus that is being used is McAfee. So what we can do here is, so you need to open your McAfee and add these executable files to the exception, excluded files, which McAfee will not treat as virus. So go to protection, my protection and click on real time scanning. So you can see as of now, there are no excluded files here. So we need to add the file here. So what you need to do is go back to Dave C++, click on compile again so that the file is generated, the executable file is generated. Go back to my cafe, click on add file. And you need to select the executable file. So in my case, there are a couple of executable files. This is the one that I want to include sample.exe. Click on open. You must see the file here, okay? So it's not added as of now. Let me try once again. Executable file. Open, right. So the file is now added into the excluded list. Okay, so now we can go back and run it. And now you see the result. So value of number is 5. So this is the way that you can exclude your file executable file that you want to run might not be very convenient if there are a lot of new files that you're going to generate but this is one of the possible ways by which you can run your programs if you are using mcafe antivirus or any other antivirus in that case also you need to exclude the file from being scanned as or being treated as a virus or a unwanted software so that's all for this video and I hope that this works for you. See you next time.